for a second and walk us through this matchup? Yeah. I mean, shit, that still, with that pain <laughs> saw to the sky. We'll get into that in one second. Can we back it up just one second and look at all three? Yeah, so this is how you start the match, and you're on a podium here. These are called podiums, and uh, that's the base podium. That's the podium that you will start out with uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning of the game. And we see that we have the two demons. This time, they've, there's five demons to choose from. This time, they've chosen the Pain Elemental and the Mancubus versus the Slayer. The Slayer is always the same. And Pain Elemental is brand new to Doom Eternal, so like, I just love the idea of what we've done here. And we'll get into that in a second when we actually look at the gameplay, because again, Cacodemons were all we saw in 2016. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was the only floaty boy in the sky. Yeah. That shit's yeah. changed, though. Oh, yeah. Now we have you know, Pain Elemental. He's, he's great. He's very funny, too. Look at how funny he is. <laughs> He's when got you see a lot him in of the campaign. He's got tons of personality. He oh like yeah. moves like just just like in the, in the original, uh, just like Doom Two. He kind of scoots <laughs> his way along. It's great. He has, uh, as you'll see in the match, uh, each demon has a core set of abilities that are different from one another. Uh, they kind of are like classes a little bit, but you know, it's it, they they really do play off each other uh, extremely well. You know, so I guess you could say the Mancubus is kind of like the tank. Uh, the the Pain Thank Elemental is it? <laughs> yeah, he's an aerial unit. He's going to have a shield. You'll see quite about uh, quite a bit of that. And they have to play off each other. If if the if the Mancubus in here in this case is not supporting the Pain Elemental, the Slayer is just going to wreck him. And then this for the Slayer, you got to have your DPS combos down. You got to be able to quick switch. I mean, this demands a lot of the Slayer player uh, yeah. for sure. But real understanding of your mods. Yeah, totally. And and being able to quick switch between weapons to to burn down demons fast. But the number one thing that the demons can do, as you'll see, is that they can spawn AI into the map to fight the Slayer. That's critical. They have hazards they could spawn, health volumes they could spawn, and as you'll see soon, uh, they also can block his his loot, which is his ability to gain resources from a glory kill, which is which is an, a critical part of the, the strategy for demons. All right, so that's a pretty good setup. Let's go ahead and let this run, and then also talk about these are all new arenas. This is not single player. Yeah, no, these arenas are, are made specifically for battle mode. We think of them like gladiator arenas. I mean, it's very much like a first-person fighting game. I think what you'll get a sense of, too, here is how watchable this is. We've really made it so that it is, it, it is something that Twitch streamers, players, you know, who like watching games, get get a real sense of. You're kind of seeing the whole arena right here. Um, it's it's tight, it's fast. Um, we're take we're taking this uh, the perspective of the Slayer here, and you can see he's already starting with the Ballista, which is super high damage. But again, he doesn't have too much ammo, so now, that management right off the bat. Is oh yeah. Now here's a here's a bad move by the Mancubus. He gets aggressive, shoots out his smoke bomb, tries to burn him down with his flamethrower but he d didn't do it effectively. You have to be tactically aggressive on both sides, but especially for the demons. That time he just, with reckless abandon, went after Slayer and he paid for it. Yeah, that was only 26 seconds into the match. Yeah. You'll see in some of these other so, matches how long a demon can This run. was awesome. So he just blocked his loot, and he, he, he ma the, making that chainsaw useless. So he has to do it again. So if you could block the Slayer's loot two times in a row, it's, it's going to really, really hurt him. It's a critical, critical uh, moment in the match for sure. And you guys just saw him go through a teleporter. Do you want to guys kind of walk us through like the way the teleporter works in all these arena maps? You can do that, Mark. Yeah, there's there's a couple teleporters usually on either side uh, of the of the arena, strategically positioned. He just went through right there, kind of backed into it, um, and, and is is now replenishing his health. Um, but it's uh, it's uh, the teleporters can only be used. Actually, a lot of the things like the teleporters, the monkey bars, those jump pads that you see, those can only be used by the Slayer. Um, really makes him very aerial through most of so these maps. Right there was awesome. They did. They combined their attacks. So when the demons turn yellow, they're actually. As, as I want to actually focus on that and roll it back if we could see that last part again before you play it. So uh, the demons have to work together and combine their their abilities to 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 really deal serious damage to the slayer. So when the demons turn uh, yellow, it means they uh, they use their haste. So he turned on. If I'd go back a little bit farther, they turned on a little bit more. Yeah, right. That's pretty good. So he's going to come out of here. He's going to turn yellow, turn on his haste, pop his shield. He has a shield that's on a cooldown. You, you, when he doesn't have his shield available, the Slayer can really mess him up. So you really want to be selective when you use your shield as a pain elemental. Otherwise, you're extremely vulnerable to attack. So he pops it, uses his, da uh, his, his uh, haste, pushes into the Slayer, pushing the Slayer back into a hazard volume that he threw behind him. And then the, the Mancubus throws his smoke bomb, which completely obscures the demons. When you throw a smoke bomb as a Mancubus, you can see the outline of the Slayer, but they can't see you. So it's a really good move. And then he burned, comes, comes out, uh, into the smoke and burning him uh, with his flamethrower. So tons of damage on the Slayer. And it, 
this is so much deeper than just I shot at you and and pointed my I put my crosshairs on you and pulled the trigger faster and my aim is better and I won. Like fuck that. There's a million games that you could do that in right now. Like like what we want to do is give you something that's unique, you know, that really has depth. So watch watch how they take out the slayer here. It's awesome. Hits his haste, throws down a volume right on the slayer. Smoke bomb obscuring the mancubus coming up, burning him down. Done. The, the Mancubus damage with his his uh, his flamethrowers is just out, outrageous. Yeah, it's really If he really can powerful. get close to you, like that's that's just devastating. Yeah, the Mancubus is very dangerous. Uh, we could actually pause right here and take a step back. Where we see everything up on the ring. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. This is uh, so between rounds, uh, everybody, each player gets to uh, choose an upgrade, kind of like perks um, that they keep just for that that the course of this match. So here, the, uh, the Slayer's choosing um, the dash. We're going to switch after this into the view of a demon. But the Slayer's going to choose uh, a dash upgrade here um, that makes his dash regenerate faster and actually lets him dash immediately after glory killing um, demons uh, or chainsawing demons. So uh, re really valuable. Obviously, movement is key for the Slayer and uh, you know, an, an easy choice here for, for the Slayer. That's pretty huge, too, because that means that not only does he get dash back faster so the cat and mouse is easier for him, but also a chainsaw, which is already giving him resources, gives him instant gives dash. Gives him instant dash. Yeah, that's yeah, huge. Absolutely. It's worth noting here, like you see at the beginning of each round, uh, there's a countdown, four second countdown or so, and you can move. You can't fire during that countdown, but there's a ton of strategy that happens in those first four yeah, seconds. Yeah, jockeying as far as for like position. Jockeying for position or deciding whether to be aggressive. I can't help but mention that always feels like that Qui-Gon and Darth Maul moment where Absolutely. the wall comes up and you have that time where you're like, I'm going to do this next. Yes. I'm figuring that out. I love that the beginning of every round starts like that. If you didn't realize, we actually switched to the view of the pain elemental here. So yeah. obviously much more aerial character. He so, has his soul shield. Yeah, this is, this is an interesting match because what you're going to see here is the strategies change. It's the best of five. And the Slayer has to eliminate both demons in order to win. And the demons just have to kill the Slayer once. So when one demon dies, the other demon has about 20 seconds to come back in, and we'll, we'll go more into detail with that later. But in this match in particular, uh, you'll notice that the Slayer is kind of over-focusing a little bit too much on the Mancubus, and he's kind of ignoring the Pain Elemental. And this is giving the Pain Elemental a huge opportunity to just slam him uh, with his Skull Attack. Uh, they've effectively... He's got a good slate, uh, loot block right there. A really good loot block. Watch this. Uh, oh, wait, no, that, that's coming later. So some really good attacks... And uh, the Slayer's paying the price right now, man. He is ignoring the Pain Elemental, and that's not a good thing. Yeah. Spending a lot of time on the ground, honestly, for a Slayer. It, it's really good to be very aerial. As you a see how he threw down his hazard? Uh, anticipated where the Slayer was going to go and threw down his hazard. You really want to corral the Slayer uh, when you're playing as demons. You want to control where he goes. He's so powerful, though. Like, it's, it's tough. And I love how, like... I love these like Slayer loot block and then you know the Slayer health flow, like these sweaty yeah. moments that kind of force you to be like, all right, the strategy needs to be push him into this corner, finish it up. So the Slayer's just about done. He ain't going to make it. You don't think he's going to make it? No, no. This is it? Okay, so <laughs> whoever was the Slayer player, I think it was Felix back at the office. <laughs> Shout out to Felix. <laughs> what up? So he was probably like, uh, note to self. Kill that pain elemental. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll see it. This was the demon's upgrade right there. Right? Yeah, can yeah. we roll that back to the wheel one more time? Yeah. Oh, by the way, Fit Meatball, Just, I just want to hit that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just yeah. want to have How that. Awesome that? So yeah. there, everybody wants to be a Fit Meatball. You, you actually saw life. him using that quite a bit in that. Again, we're going to switch to another demon here. We're going to switch to the view of the Mancubus. But you saw how much the Pain Elemental needed to use his dash during that last match. Um, as much as he's a floater, he has this amazing dash ability, and he was using uh, his perk there as well and, and is now uh, choosing another one, Lingering Souls. Yeah. And then making those lost souls stick around even longer. So it's almost like a little bit of an AOE after oh, the yeah. projectile, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's nasty. So this is it now. The Slayer's down 0-2. And uh, let's see what he does. Let's see how his strategy changes. And again, you get this, this Qui-Gon Darth Maul. There's four seconds to kind of plan where you're going to start this attack, how you want to trap. And again, remember, demons cannot use a lot of the Slayer things that give him a lot more tra traversal, like can't use the jump pads, can't use the monkey bars. Yep. So it makes it a lot different, I feel like, how you move around. So plan. you definitely want to spawn demons, too. There's the, the demon spawn wheel down at the bottom center there, and to the right are his abilities. It looks like he's got, what, a Prowler and an Arachnatron ready to go? Yeah. Smoke Bomb is so effective. 
And the Slayer's outline can be seen through walls at all times, but if he breaks line of sight with them for more than a couple seconds, he disappears. Yeah, you actually saw that right at the beginning of the game. It was so, a while before the Mancubus saw Really quick, we'll see here that we have one of the demons died. So now he has a counter over over his, uh, his icon up there on the upper right, and he has 20 seconds to come back. Now he's got 17 seconds. So when we talk about pacing, here's a perfect example. It totally changes the pace of the match. The demons go from a competitive experience where they're maybe pursuing the Slayer to now it's, it's a game of high and seek the other demon has to hide uh, to stay alive long enough before his buddy comes back but then that's that's going to be a strategy for you because if the slayer's health is low and you want to go for broke and try to take him out you can but if you die then you've lost the match so again we make all these decisions to be able to push and when the other demon comes back he comes back at half health so you know if you're the mancubus in this situation you've got a lot of health the Slayer has a lot of health. Everybody sees those those uh, health bars at the top. You're probably going to try to wait out that 20 seconds yeah. to make sure your other teammate comes back and you guys are at, at more of a full strength. Because, again, taking on the Slayer at full health as a single demon, it's, it's a really tough proposition. And probably, as Marty said, in both cases here, the Slayer is going to replenish his ammo, and then the Mancubus is just going to get ready for, for the next run by the Slayer. And that's what you see. The Mancubus can see him, but he's lost line of sight there for a bit. Now he's back. But he's, he's definitely playing it cool. He's trying to block the Slayer from... So you can hear the Slayer chainsawing through the map. And so you could actually use that to your advantage and block it right when he's about to get his loot. But then a smart player will actually just hit X to swing the chainsaw, but not actually chainsaw a guy to get somebody to use their loot block. Yeah. So this is not checkers. This is chess. There's a lot of different strategies taking place here. So watch this. Oh, no, this is in the other one when he, when he actually... Uh, predicts where he's going. But anyway, yeah, he, he the, the, the teleporters are on a cooldown. Right, so they can't just spam and go back and forth yeah. and kind of play cat, yeah. cat and mouse that way. Using that meat hook. See, but he can grapple and pull himself onto to platforms to make this, right? And with that big jump, yeah. it's actually pretty yeah. handy. He actually, it, he, it, it would have been a little bit more beneficial if he made that jump into that Stay gap. up there, yeah. yeah, agreed. All right, health critical. So right here, he threw down a health volume which is uh, one of the abilities that you could choose. And it's a really interesting meta and a change of pace here as well because uh, now he is, has to stand inside that volume to heal. The Slayer can see on his HUD when you are healing as a demon. So that's really, it, it, it's a risk reward there. And, and this will probably mean that in, uh, very soon the Slayer is going to come barreling around the corner to, to burn him down. Yeah, not only can see on your HUD that he's healing, but that massive volume knows... You know, if you get any good angle, you can see exactly where he's at, and that's exactly what he did there. The Slayer just swooped yeah. in, took him out, even though he was trying to heal. So you see that you can even even tell that the uh, the Slayer is this time around choosing to focus on the pain elemental more because that killed him. And We've uh, switched to the view. When you die, you actually switch into the view of your teammate. So it's yes. a really good opportunity to kind of see where the match has gone, Take, take stock of what the health is of, of every character, and then when you come back in, you're back in uh, with, with a lot of information. See, that's, a, that's interesting. He dropped the fog to push and then pull his full like flame like torches out. That was, that's an interesting push considering he just came back with half health. But again, you look at the Slayer now, now the Slayer has no armory, now he's on his back foot. And you see they're spawning in everything they can, it looks like, AI-wise. Really? If you haven't noticed down there at the bottom, that's that's really the that's the demon's uh, kind of weapon wheel, their their summon wheel. Yeah. Um, they get to they get to choose from that. Tells them gives them perfect stats on what they have out on the on the battlefield. Nice. Demons yep. killed. Slayer one. Damn. Good job. Even on the back foot, that was nice. And I gotta say, every time I see all those lost souls just floating in a circle, <laughs> it's like I never thought we'd get to be the pain elemental. Yeah. So it's and so you gotta cool. spawn that shield at the right time. You don't you don't spawn it at the right time. The slayer's gonna kill you. All right. Let's see. One to two. Gotta spawn those demons. Spawn the demons like crazy. That's right. He's spawning. Oh, look! You see how he blocked the slayer's path using that that um, that hazard volume. Now, the, the metagame is when the Slayer takes the portal and how he takes the portal, and communicating that to one another as demons. Communication in this is important. Yeah, and for sure the official Discord, which is just discord.gg slash doom. Shout out to Jimmy Bacon and all of our admins there. There is going to be serious, like, oh, yeah. looking for matches, teaming up, going nuts, and getting some really cool combos going, I think. Yeah, and it's really, 
I, I mean, I'll just say a quick word about we have a whole private match capability within the game. So if you find friends on Discord, jump into private match. You get all your XP, all of everything works just the same as if you were to uh, to, yeah. to join through uh, matchmaking. Just like um, quick play and all. So that. The, yeah. The maps are pretty simple, and we want we, uh, that was a nice nice hazard volume right there. We want players to be able to master them quickly so that they can play with more intention. That all of their actions they feel like they're more purposeful and they're not just reacting to everything. They're more proactive than reactive. So that way strategies emerge. Uh, more quickly, you know, like in the game of basketball, we're gonna do a basketball thing later. It's like, you know, there's not the components don't really change, and they're not they're not really that complicated. You got a ball, two nets, and a court, but uh, it's it's what you do with those elements that count. So this is sick. Uh, watch watch this. He's gonna he's gonna follow. Uh, he knows that the Slayer is gonna take that portal. He's gonna anticipate the Slayer taking that portal and go to the next portal. Again, another awesome move. This is what it takes to burn down the Slayer and win in battle mode. And like so, you said, there's only two sides to this. There's only so two sides. The Slayer goes back inside. He anticipates the portal move and is just blasting him on his way out. That was awesome. I mean, this, th this thing is deep. There's, there's a lot of stuff to, to master and learn. I love, too, how it's, it's easy to miss the first time, but you have just, like, just so many floating pillars so that Pain Elemental himself can has, like, a little bit of shielding up and there. And you see, you see that it, uh, he died. I mean, it's like a game of chess, you know? He lost a couple pieces on that move and he wasn't able to survive. And, and worth show, I mean, you saw it there with the Pain Elemental, you know, really effective from the air, but there's so much verticality. You mentioned the pillars in the air that he yeah. can hide behind, but uh, a, kind of an advanced strategy even recently is, is like, you know, the verticality that the Pain Elemental can play with. He's like tucking through, ca you know, caves and canyons as yeah. well. So it's to, to get good at the Pain Elemental is really using that verticality, knowing when you need to be down. Um, it, just at eye level, even with the Slayer. It's very fantastic. Yeah. That's what's so interesting, too, I feel like. We're going to actually get into another match, too, to show. But the thing I think we're all most excited about is to see when this game gets into your hands and what you guys do with battle mode. Like, I feel like there's going to be so many wild metas that, that, that take yeah. place. Like, you were talking about just the other day with the Pain Elemental pushing you on the ground with the shield oh, yeah. that you never expected. Yeah, the, the, I was getting tag teamed by two people in the office, which it was it was awful. They they were uh, dropping down on the ground the pain elemental. He'd spawn his shield, then he'd dash into me and ram me into the pain elemental, who was burning me with this. Uh, sorry, the the mancubus, who was burning me with his flamethrowers. It was a really good technique, and I was like, damn, okay. So it, again, it's like the demons play off each other uh, really well. And there's no limitations about what demon you can play. You can pick two you know, two of the same demon. Uh, it's all it's all up to the players when they go into the match. You, you have some customization of which. Uh, demons you get to spawn as well. Um, so a lot of strategy even pre-match uh, that, that plays out then over the course of the match. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get into the next one. I'm actually really excited about that too. Like I want to definitely pause when we get later rounds because as we progress and you start to stack up things as your strategy is kind of changing for like the match in particular you're playing, there starts to become more powerful options towards the end. Oh, yeah. Super sweaty. Yeah, you get super, super upgrades in between rounds, power upgrades. All right, let's hit the next one. It's a new map, I believe. So, and a new podium. That's right. We can pause on that one after. He's right. the last one. That's right. Oh. Archvile. You get to play as the Archvile. Bless. Look at that. Bless. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so this is not an Indiana Jones day one, just a couple of torches burning default podium. What are we looking at with this? This is a podium you, you earn through the course of playing the game. We have... Uh, podiums are part of our customization set. So um, everything from the, the costumes that the characters wear, you get to earn costumes for your Slayer, you get to earn costumes for your uh, demons, and then you also get to earn these podiums. So some of them you'll earn through playing the campaign. We have uh, events that are kind of like seasons yeah. um, that, are, that, are, that are all free. You earn XP through the course of playing the game in vo various different ways that let you just unlock really, really cool stuff like, like you're seeing here. And we've got a preview of some stuff later. Uh, we're going to be going deep, deep on this stuff as we, oh, yeah. as we get closer to launch. But yeah. we got some really fun stuff coming up towards the end here, too. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome. I love his scream so much. <laughs> it's like both funny yeah. and like just like the most metal terrifying thing at the same time. New map, Marty. Yeah, new map. We've got. Uh, yeah, let's talk this about is, this. Yeah, this is Maker uh, Maker Tech Maker World uh, theme. Um, it was really. I mean, honestly, there's there's so many visual. There's so much visual diversity in the campaign. It was awesome when we went to 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 build these uh, battle mode maps. The team really just did a, a great job. Uh, Bringing, bringing to life these maps with the different yeah. uh, visual themes from the game. 
So uh, that was amazing right there. Yeah. In air, the the uh, the Revenant has a uh, a rocket barrage that he that he utilized perfectly right there to take the Slayer out of the air. And he's got uh he's got jetpack, so he's a very elusive character here. And look, what is the yeah. Arch right doing there. right here? Look at how he's moving around the map differently. So that is what you see right there if you walk that back a bit. Um, so that gold beam right there is an is an uh, uh, a level hazard, uh, and there's quite a few of those uh, throughout the throughout some of the levels, you know. Uh, well, the and first level didn't have one of those, but this map has a few hazards. Yeah, and they affect both demons and slayers. I love that. So you have to respect it even as a demon. Yes. It isn't just like one of these. You're AI. You're not hurt by it. So one of the things you just saw right there, if you go back actually, is uh, each demon has a unique set of abilities, and in the case of the arch file, he could throw up a a, a flame wall that the slayer can't. Uh, get through or shoot through, but the demons can. Uh, and then he can also do a lake of fire where he burns the ground, and uh, he has a, a fireball that's pretty ineffective, and then he can uh, use a teleport. So he's, he's pretty elusive, and he can't really kill the Slayer too effectively with his direct shot, but he can use strategy and tactics to take down the Slayer, and other demons can play off of some of the things he does. So you'll see that a lot of times demons will work together to trap the Slayer and, and do extra damage. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it a lot with the uh, with the archfile. Uh, demons can walk through the, the archfile's sh uh, shield, so um, they'll ha hide behind it and then push through. See that he's healing, and he's now we're right inside there, yeah. the, uh, oh, very the Revenant. I like how we did it out of line of sight, too. That's yeah. Really, like, high-level stuff here, because as we know, he can teleport, but again, he's already used his flame wall, so we know he doesn't, he doesn't have that. Oh, that was Another a well-timed... Really effective rocket yeah. barrage. Yeah, yeah. well-timed rocket barrage do a lot of damage to the Slayer. Uh, once the Slayer loses his armor, you know that he's going to be in need. That's another hazard right there. He actually died in the hazard, yeah. the Revenant, that yellow stuff. I love these, too, because you have these, like, hurt locker areas where it's just, like, death boxes. And oh, yeah. Whether the the demon characters are spawning a bunch of AI down there and pushing them down there or whether they, they themselves are having to get the hell out of there. It's yeah. always, like, especially with the, the level hazard of this yeah. level in particular being right through the middle. So we see right there is the Archfile had to stay alive. Yeah, really, really good. Uh, example there. Very, very low on health and chose just to hide. So throwing down hazard volumes, trying to push the Slayer around. We can see that the Archfile has a sliver of health left and he's taken out. And now the Revenant has just a tiny bit of health yet. And I think, again, the expert move is to, to kind of whittle down both demons at the same time. Then once you kill one, it's not it's not going to be too hard to kill the last one. That was a heck of a shot right there. Took yeah, he's down. only got two things he left. He's running. And, I like and how this Slayer is definitely playing the move of trying to keep both their health low, and then as soon as he takes out one, he's going after the second one. But he wasn't able to do it. The Archfile's back and back in health, half health. But that Revenant now, you see, is super low. So yeah. take it. Oof. Yeah. It's just back and forth on that. Yep. It's fun, too, because you can see, like, when we're watching through his perspective of the Archfile, like, you see that the Archfile actually took different uh, AI with him. So it looks like he had like a carcass and I believe it was like a Hell Knight maybe, but it, yeah. again, it's like he's picking more like one offensive and one defensive so yeah. he can know that he can spawn those in and kind of like set back and let it do some work. So this is interesting. You've got a sliver of health on the arch file. Now if the Slayer's smart, once you kill a player demon, you get a ton of resources. So it's it's a it's a big pace changer, uh, pace breaker in the map, uh, in the experience. So right there he just killed and replenished a ton of resources and now he's definitely gonna go after that low health revenant. You know, we're not even talking about it. We're talking so much about the strategy. Oh, but nice. Yeah, that was a great shot. That was good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just look at the diversity of the of the movement capabilities of those two demons, the Revenant and the Archfile. I mean, the Archfile teleporting around, the Revenant using his jetpacks. Can't can't stay up in the air forever, but, right. yeah. but definitely can use the verticality in the environment. Yeah, for sure. So this is it, 1-0. Let's see how he opens up. He's going after the Revenant again. This guy seems to have the Revenant's number. Now that's the ballista. You really want to land those ballista shots, and when you miss them, it hurts. I was yeah. going to say because the ammo is pretty limited on that to start. Yes. Again, the the, the Slayer starts out the match as a that full. technique right there though. It's that, amazing. That meat hook to chainsaw. Oh, yeah. Yep. That is god tier for resource. Isn't it, it is. Particularly the flaming chainsaw or the flaming meat hook because that that lights them on fire, and you get that. Yeah. That to do the armor coming. To out do the, the armor. Whole time. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. That is really nice. All right, so he's got the rev the Revenant at half health. He definitely... Oh, that was a really slick move right there, the way he spawned that shield, the shield and protected yeah. himself from the... Right as he got uh, meat hooked. So the guy, the, the Slayer couldn't land uh, the super shotgun round. Perfect loop block right there. He, yeah. he went in for the chainsaw, and you saw that loop block pop up on the screen. Absolutely. And another amazing... <laughs> and uh, he just another destroyed meat the Revenant. That's that. amazing. 
But that was that time, right? Like that time he knew when he heard the chainsaw, he blocked it before yes. the resources. Yes, absolutely. Yep, exactly. Yeah, that's amazing. So the Revenant is down to practically nothing. You're getting little sneak peeks of the some of our, our we have gun skins as well. Obviously, you get to earn. Uh, you're seeing a little bit of that when he pulls out the rocket launcher. It's kind of a hazard caution uh, skin for it. The experience for this, if you if you're a Slayer player, it's pure skill. Yeah. Actually, that's a custom gun skin too. That's usually. I red. mean, this is a lot for the Slayer to manage. You got to be real good with all your shots. I love the the with the level. Oh, look at that! Caught him healing. That. Caught him oh. healing. Yep. And then he puts, but see, he put it down to try to block those shots when he yep. was running away, but he still got caught by it. That's the carcass, one of our great AIs. He's throwing down shields to block the slayer as well. Causing problems. Causing problems like always. <laughs> he's got that revenant out of the picture, and now he's going after the arch file. Oh, the ballista shots are critical. That was beautiful right there. We talk about how similar it is to uh, the campaign, and you know, you'll, sometimes you'll see the slayer just run past a demon. Um, it, it's actually not that dissimilar than the campaign in that perspective, too. We always talk about prioritizing targets. That's what you're doing as the Slayer this whole time in battle yeah. mode at, at just a, such a high speed. You don't want to you know, you don't want to spend any time killing a Hell Knight if you can dash past it if you know that, uh, you know, one of the demon players is low. Yeah, because I feel like you get caught up in that loop of just killing regular oh, AI and all absolutely, of a sudden the yeah. trap is But then it's a... It's a, it's a, it's a but then they build up, actually. Exactly. It's kinda, a decision it, it to be really made hurt you. The demons that you ignore are the ones that end up killing you later on. That's true. Because, you know, so, the thing that's so huge, too, between 2016 and Eternal is everybody's melee in this from, like, top to bottom is deadly. Yeah, so, absolutely. So what we see right now is we have a full health. Uh, uh, the, the Slayer's definitely got enough armor and, and health to go after this last demon. The last demon's only got a couple of pips left, so he's looking to take him out right now. This is definitely a power play on the part of the Slayer. Got to land these shots. One more pip to go. Oh, but and the arch he, he file did. comes back. And he had respawned, yeah, just just seconds before. This is a good match. It's pretty back and forth. I like, too, how he used the meat hook to get close, but then he didn't get too close because he knew he was going to switch to the rocket yeah. launcher, and he was get, there's so much blast back damage on that. that he you notice how he's landing those ballista shots, man. You have to hit those. Yeah. Oh, that was slick right there. He blocked him inside the hazard, inside the level hazard, that is using his shield. This arch file is pretty good. Another good loot block. Yeah, they keep starving him of resources, so that's going to be a problem. Yeah, because he's getting low on ammo, and it looks like he now basically just has one pip of armor, and then it's his health ticking down. Even right there, that... that oh, uh, make, throwing down a perfect uh, uh, hazard, hazard zone yeah. that the Slayer had to pull right through. <laughs> I love how elusive, like, the arch trial is. It's just nuts. Yeah, yeah. Well, even the... Like, there was a great moment Got there caught. just a second nice. ago. Nice. Good move. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. There was a great moment where the uh, the Revenant used his dash ability. Several of the demons have that dash ability. Yeah. You saw it. He was kind of exposed as the Slayer was coming out, and he dashed behind a pillar. It's, yeah. It's fantastic. All right, so this is round three. And I love how that's equal, because obviously the Slayer is dashing around all over the place. In Absolutely. single player, you'll get to master yeah. it. But then it's so crucial for these demons to have at least a little bit so they can do that quick. Like if it's a rocket yeah. coming or something else, they can just quickly dodge. Dude, you see right there, they threw down a hazard volume. <laughs> The Archfile did his Lake of Fire attack, and he did his shield. Yeah. They did some... If the Slayer didn't move, he was going to get wrecked. And I love, too, how, like, you look down there at the, the health bar, and you go, 2,000 what? There's no way this guy's going to die. And you're, you're going against the Slayer, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. The arsenal is just insane. So the, the Revenant just took a beating, but he's going to leave that Revenant alive. That's a, that's a smart Slayer we're watching right now. He's going to leave that Revenant alive a little bit, focus on the Archfile. He knows that he could take out the Revenant at this point at any time. Tactically aggressive. I mean, he's keeping one demon alive, and he knows as soon as one more shot on the Revenant, he's going to get all his resources back. Oh, this is it. This is the move. They're both down to... Oh, and then... But he, now he's healing. He's healing, yeah. So and he used that, that shield to block him off that way, went through the hazard yeah. himself, because he knew he wouldn't be followed. So he decided to take out the Revenant there, get all the resources, allowing the Archfile to also replenish his resources, so he's back in it. I thought for and a again, second. And again, the Archfile playing it really smart here. Yeah, he's hiding, man. He's, he's hiding. waiting for his buddy to come e back. Even though he's got half health. I mean, like, not quite half health, but... He's also close. giving... when you're, he's, he's hiding, and he's also giving the Slayer an opportunity to replenish his resources. So that comes at a cost. Comes at a cost always, yeah. And I've seen it done around the office where the Archfile even, like, he'll wait for you to go through the teleporter and immediately put up a firewall so then oh, yeah. somebody else can just burn you down because he can shoot through it and he can't pass through it. Totally. The Slayer can't. I so the Slayer is in hot pursuit. He's got both of them low. He's had both of them low the whole match. Low. Yeah. And uh, the Slayer's got armor, too, so he's, he's sitting pretty good right now. But that can change pretty quick. I think he's picking on the Revenant right now, chipping away at his health. 
smart move. Oh, that dude, that was awesome. Great. He trapped him inside there, inside yeah. the hazard. Slick move. <laughs> Fantastic. That was slick. It's like his cooldowns were at the right time. Just Yeah, absolutely. And he's still got a healing volume to use. But that Slayer is putting a hurting on these guys. Oof. He's probably going <laughs> to block. Right block. Right he's going to throw down that healing volume. Definitely yeah, was going to happen. So smart. And he did it as soon but as he Now the got Slayer it. has a stationary target, which is, uh, let's see what he does with that. He's got just a pip of health, though. Look at this. He does. He's going to have yeah, to go for broke right look now. Look how low the Slayer is right now. <laughs> yeah. And, which, and, and the demons are actually not in bad shape. I mean, it, literally no. one good shot against the Slayer and you got to win. But see, he got away. He went through the teleporter. He got some more resources. Look like yeah. he popped the chainsaw yeah. on that. What was really awesome, though, is we saw earlier, it's a, it's a back and forth match. You know, there's a, there's a lot going on here because earlier in the match, the Slayer was killing. Now the Slayer's up and both demons are down. And like you said, this isn't the 2016 like 50-50 Cowboys shootout. No. There's so many moments here that can change the course oh, yeah. of just a single round. Well, it's just a single round. Think of think of how much we've talked about all of the little strategy, all of the little meta moments, and we're two minutes and forty yeah. in two minutes and fifty <laughs> seconds. We probably talked about ten people strategies oh, yeah, that, that are totally unique. Just I to tell you right round. now, people That's talk true. about sweaty, sweaty players, sweaty shooters. Yeah. Uh, these two guys are drenched right now. <laughs> It's been, it's been awesome. We've had some people come into the office. We've had some press in the office playing recently. And, and the things they say about battle mode, uh, you know, w one player had played a master level, which we're going to show tomorrow, yeah. which is like the most intense version of the campaign. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like super and, hard. And then went and played battle mode. Yeah. Uh, game went down to the wire. And uh, he said that was like eight, like the, the master level was 20% the intensity of what he experienced in Damn. battle mode. That is uh, nuts, uh, considering uh, no. the, the challenge that that presents versus just the regular single player, which is already tuned to be super tough. Yeah. I mean, That's people awesome. always ex uh, describe it as just my heart is pounding out of my chest. So this is going to be the power play by the Slayer. He's definitely had enough. Uh, unfortunately, he forced that arch file through that hazard. He's in hot pursuit. Literally. I don't think the demons are going to... Well-timed loot block, though. That was really yeah. awesome. Again, because otherwise he would replenish all of his yes. armor and his ammo. And he's got a Prowler ready. I love Prowlers because Prowlers will just spawn behind the Slayer and cause so many oh, yeah. problems yeah. in this. It really is. We're not calling it out a lot when, when, when you spawn demons, but these guys are really good at spawning demons. They're, yeah. they're, keeping, you know, they're keeping a lot of demons on the board, um, using them strategically. They're using the hazard uh, volumes really using well. Using the hazard volumes really well. Yeah. Spawning their shields, but I think this is it. Oh, this is it. Oof. Boom. Great he got use too of the teleporter close, by the Slayer. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. That was awesome. He used the teleporter, spawned behind the demon, Damn. wrecked him. Good stuff. See, the Archfile ran out of options there. He had no more flame wall. There was no teleporting away when he got that close to the Slayer. And that's yeah, one yeah. of those ranges you don't want to be in, especially when you don't have a teammate to bail you out of that. Yeah, uh, yeah. absolutely. So we didn't want to not yep, show you the Marauder because the Marauder you've seen in the trailers – Reddit, I know you're out there. <laughs> and just the amount of, like, big energy that's come from, like, Slayer versus Marauder showdowns, well, now it's going to be Slayer versus Marauder Plus. And we're so excited. Do you guys want to see some Marauder footage? I don't know. Do you guys want to see it? Yes. The Marauder is awesome. Let's roll the videotape. Is that still a thing? No. It's digital. <laughs> <laughs> What's a videotape? Oh, yeah, All right. Exactly. Midnight's over there like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that our defeat text is right over the No, picture. no, no, that's a known issue. Okay, day 30. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. I see an axe come out. I see the super shotgun come out. But there's a little minor difference, right? That's because so there's awesome. the super shotgun, you see there's nothing on the bottom of that. Yes. Which, what's missing there? The so, meat hook. There's no meat he hook. He doesn't get that's, to do the meat hook. No, he he's does not. He's not badass like the Slayer. He's just badass. But look at this dual wielder. This guy's a Kimbo already. Oh, yeah. yeah. He gets to throw an axe that's kind of like a grenade launcher. Because it'll ex it'll stick into things and explode. He's got a double barrel shotgun. He's got a dash just like the Slayer. He's very elusive. And one of the coolest things is when the Slayer's close, if he's in the right proximity, he can spawn a Firewolf, and it will uh, do a vicious bite on the Slayer. So it's a pretty good, uh, yeah. you know, get the hell away from me attack. I mean, the guy's got a in dog addition and to shotgun. spawning all the demons. I mean, he just spawned yeah. an Arachnitron right there. So watch how they play off each other right there. He spawned the shield and then was throwing his attacks through the shield. Uh, of the arch files, so they're, they're, th these two are working together really well. You can tell already. Yeah, this is a good combo of demon players here. Yeah, and and two of the more advanced demons. I mean, th these these are both just uh, you know the arch file and the uh, and the marauder together is a is yeah. a really tough combo with really skilled players. It's it's kind of an offensive support demon, the arch file. You know, again, he doesn't really have a lot of great uh, direct attacks, but he could certainly push the player around and support other demons with his lake of fire and shield. 
uh, to be able to take down the damage, and we've seen that quite a bit today. That was a well-timed... Oh, dude, that was oh, so my. awesome. Spawn the shield, go through the shield, give him a shotgun, <laughs> last point blank. That well, was awesome. And, and not only that, he spawned the shield in front of the teleporter, so yes. they denied the, the Slayer the teleporter access. So awesome. And it looks like he just popped haste, and he is already pretty fast, but now he's got... Again, now he's even faster. He's got his long range, which has a little bit of, like, AoE on the ground when he hits it, yes. especially once it gets upgraded. And then oh. that double barrel. Oh, God. Nice hazard volume the right there. Is so real. So this is a hazard map. There's a big old uh, red hazard in the center. You'll see it quite a bit. Also, uh, speaking of maps and looking at this guy, I see some familiar touches here. This looks yes. like maybe a uh, callback to, uh, I don't know, Excavation from 2016? Yes. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. UAC-themed So you can uh, see that the cars. hazard in the map's coming up now, and so that that uh, that Marauder's going to have to move. <laughs> That's but a he, lot he of was a hazard. Yeah, yeah. he was Caught selling out because guard. he was landing attacks. And I love how, again, you have some more, like, cave areas here, and then obviously, yeah. again, that... That jump pad right there is only for the Slayer, so demons have to be yeah. really careful to not, you know, back yeah, themselves really up in the corner. In there. So again, you could stick that axe into the ground and it's a bomb that'll go off, so you could use it like a grenade launcher, or if you land direct hits on the Slayer, which is pretty hard to do, it does a lot of damage. So that was awesome right there. Did you see what they just did? Yeah. All right, let's roll that. that anyway, I don't want to roll that back, but that was, that was a really nice combo attack. Hazard volume, uh, shield wall, lake of fire, and he was throwing axes. And that's a thing cool, too, I feel like. And you like. see it killed the Slayer. You're not going to yeah. survive that as a Slayer. Because I feel like sometimes, too, with the Slayer, okay, you're doing a chainsaw, you need to replenish your resources, but there's that moment that you know when that's over, and if everybody's got their cooldown ready, they can just pop everything and put you in such a pressure situation where you probably don't have a chance. Because, again, resources are resources, so you still need gas for chainsaw. You don't have an infinite chainsaw either. Absolutely. Yes, yes. So Absolutely. the management of that is real. That's, a, that's a really good point, yeah. yeah. So, Mr. Slayer here is being a little bit aggressive with his rocket launcher, and he's taking a lot of self-damage. That was the, the wolf, wolf fight. fight. Yeah. Wolf just wolf took a chunk out of him. And, and tell us about how that wolf works. So, okay, Marauder's got a wolf. We've seen it in a couple of videos, maybe here or there, but how does that work? How do you unleash that? What happens with the wolf? How, does, how, how do the mechanics of that go? Well, when you, when you uh, ignite the wolf, uh, if you're in close range to the Slayer, he will uh, pursue the Slayer and attack him. He'll, he'll pursue him relentlessly until he lands a bite or until the Slayer kills him. But you have to be within proximity. We basically think of it like a guard dog. Gotcha. But also, if he's hidden like he was just then, doesn't the the wolf that comes out, isn't he actually able to spot him as well and actually expose his, his outline? Uh, it depends. You have to be close. Gotcha. Yeah, he, he can pursue him. Once he, once he picks up the scent of the Slayer, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll pursue him, but it's, it's proximity-based. Nice. Proximity. Seeing the Slayer uh, really go after weak points of those uh, of those yeah. demons that are out, like the Arachnotron. Oh. Even if you don't kill the, it's it's again much like the campaign. Even if you don't kill the demon, you really want to take out weak points. So we see that he's leaving that arch file with just a sliver of health. He's definitely trying to do both. He's had to replenish his resources right there, so he's killing. He's farming the shit out of demons right now. And he's like just how able to replenish just like a ton of health right there. And how often do you see that where it's like you're toying with them a little bit and you want to leave them a little bit low health because you know if you fully finish them. You got it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, exactly. the, yeah, it's the only it, strategy. Really. It's, it's, you, gotta. you can't just kill things. You have to be tactically aggressive. So again, you see how he's leaving that arch file there with just a little bit of health. Now he's going to probably focus on that Marauder or just sell out and kill the arch file to get all the resources. But I like it too. I feel like because the Marauder's in the map, he's he's spacing things out. Oh, that was nice. Heavy great anymore. shield block. So right there, used yeah. his blood punch, got snuck past the shield. The the, the Archfall didn't quite close him off there, and he was able to get the kill. That Marauder. And now that Marauder's got one sliver of health left, oh. but the Slayer right now is choosing to replenish his resources instead of going after that Marauder. He's making a decision here. He's dealing with a lot of demons there. I mean, that was that's a that's definitely a case. I mean, he, he's he's gone through a yeah, cacodemon, a paint or a arachnotron. I mean, the marauder Marauders definitely right is there, yeah. spawning a bunch of demons, giving him something to think about, so he could take some of the pressure off himself. It was so smart though, when and it up, worked. He was up close that tight with an arachnotron, and instead of trying to do distance and do the damage points, he just hit his blood punch, knocked his armor off, back cannon's gone, and then he's vulnerable. Oh yeah. All right, so he's Great only got. Right yeah. Take a look at the demons. Just a little Ooh. bit of health left. <laughs> that doom blade. Let's see though. who he goes after first here. Will he go after the arch file? I think arch file is really using the shield well. Oh, there. dude, they're both bunched up trying to heal. Uh -oh. Not a good move. That is the healing volume does does benefit your teammate too if he wants to step in it, but it obviously yeah. makes you both very vulnerable. But I like that hazard. You place it, you back out. You. Oh, hope look at that shield wall. That oh, was awesome. No. Perfect use of the shield wall saved himself that last second there. He almost got killed by that prowler right there on that melee. One yeah. pip of health for both demons. <laughs> and then the hazard's up when he thinks he's safe. Is he going to pull it off here? He's in pursuit for sure. 
Yeah, this and he's trying to use that verticality because yes, he can't let those demons heal uh, hit a heal volume again too. And I feel like nobody moves as well as the Slayer, so he has to use that to his advantage at all yes. times. Think about verticality. Think about where he can so go. Definitely, you see here that both demons are being really cautious. Yeah, and playing this, defensively. And, and the Slayer really, I mean, got to get after it. They're, oh, they're, oh, nice! Get all those nice resources. Shot. Yep. Oh, that was the move. Oh. Yep. So you see, that was a perfectly played match. He took them down, both down to one pip, chipped away down, at him, and then he was able to take each, them both yep. out uh, really easily. That might have even been a good option for, like, that would have been a great finish them both yes. with one shot. Like yeah, that. seriously. Because they were both at no health, basically. All right, it's 1-1. One, one. Who's going to win? This is it. This is it for the rubber band. This oh, season. nice. Be sweating harder next round. This is a sweaty. Both these guys are dripping with Look sweating. Look at that. I mean, that, those, those acrobatics that? were amazing. Oh, yeah. like, he he half used into that. us into a monkey bar. And That's what awesome. you guys are going to do with this is you're going to go in that Discord and you're going to be like the top slayer looking for the very best demons for the, be you know. I love it. That, that's what it's going to be all. That's what happens at the office. And the thing is, you don't mind switching. I mean, it's awesome to play as the demons. It's awesome to play as slayer. Or you just got bit there by the wolf. You saw that. Yeah, the slayer real like, I mean, that just such aggressive play right there from yeah. the slayer. He's uh, landing all of his, his uh, heavy cannon yep, shots. And he's chasing the marauder, even meat hooking off of him to stay close yeah. to him. But while the Slayer went to go replenish his resources, the Demon healed, as we saw. Great shot of a weak point right there. Just taking off the weak point, not worrying about it, just making sure that Arachnatron can't hurt him later. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that was a damage. perfect Ballista shot. Dude, you see that? that if wall. he would have landed that shot, he would have been dead. And see, that Arachnatron right now doesn't have his cannon back, so yeah, he knows he's, he's not a big of a threat. And then using fodder for resources, it's like yep. 101 Slayer work. They did not block his loot there, so he was able to get everything back, so they're in a bit of trouble right now. It's a fully loaded Slayer. Poof. That turret, look at that DPS. It's amazing. That's, yeah, that, that's it a, had that's to cool down. It's too much DPS. When, when you get a pack of demons like that all in a in a, uh, in a a jumble, you can just uh, pound them. Yeah. You saw the carcass there doing what he does. He blocks the Slayer from, uh, from glory killing other demons. It makes uh, the decision to leave the carcass out into the world a tough one. Yeah. Because he can really screw you up. He's constantly blocking your path. I mean, it's almost like having another arch arc file, like, just whenever and, and however. Because it could be you're even blocking, like you said, you're, you're popping those resources, then all of a sudden there's a shield in front of you. Yeah. And you have to deal with it. Oh, oh. that was awesome. <laughs> Perfect timing. Dude, the and the whole time the Marauder is chipping away at the Slayer. I mean, he's definitely focusing on the arch file right now. But he that knows. that Marauder is somewhere, and he's gonna. I, I don't know if it's a good strategy to take out the Archfile first. I think he should go after the the Marauder. But that's the other interesting thing is like you saw him right there, kind of on his back foot, going, "Damn, I didn't leave enough fodder enemies here yes. to sort of like back into." And now he's pressuring again. the Marauder. Landed a good rocket shot there. The Marauder is so elusive. See, he doesn't even see where the where the Archfile. Oh, that, dude, that was a shot. sick shot. That really was. You can see too the Slayer really adjusting to those hazards in the map. Uh, you know when he when he Absolutely. jumps up there and sees the uh, sees well, the floor electrified, doing his dash across. So what's interesting is because the Archfile has the heal volume selected, while he was pressuring uh, the Marauder, the Archfile had a moment to heal, and the Slayer wasn't able to pressure him while he was that setting his heal volume. Slayer using the teleporter there, really really smart. Yeah. yeah. To kind of get behind the uh, the Archfile. All right, heal. they're both low. There was think, no shield there. That was that. I think yeah. he's going to go real aggressive here coming up because he's got them both low in health. And he's popping more resources for ammo. He's gearing up for a final push. That's kind of what you do in this. You want to be tactically aggressive. So you want to make sure that when you make the final push at the demons to try to close out the match that you got to the resources that you need. So right now he's just kind of gearing up. You can tell he's got them both low. Although that, that arch file is healing right now. He almost had him, but he ran out of sight. So he only got it so far yeah. with that meat hook. God, that blood punch, though. I almost would say the Slayer went too far there. Like yeah. I think he did. He I think really missed an opportunity, that window. He made a tactical error there because he he, he spent a little, Felix spent a little too much time <laughs> punishing his Shout out to Felix. I'm just saying, he's got he's got a lot to learn still. <laughs> oh, my God. You know? I love, too, though, how, like, when the, uh, when the arc file <laughs> dropped that firewall, how he played it both sides. Because you can walk through it passively, yes. no problem. And so you can cat and mouse and just keep blocking back and forth and juking. And again, he's got the teleporter to get the hell out of there. All right, Felix, what are you going to do here? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Felix. What do you got, Felix? Oh, he took the dog bite. Him, yeah. And that's all of his oh, armor he got his and loot most box. of his health. So well-timed loot blocks. Felix yep. is pretty low. Wasn't able to replenish his resources. He's not going to come back look at, from this. Look at that. Everybody is oh. down to nothing. 
Literally, that match finished. Here, pause this. Yeah. Pause this right here. Yeah. Pause this right here. Okay. That's insane. There's a little something at the top of the bar there that I think fans might be sort of interested in. What? what what's that weapon right there? That is the BFG. So yes. You, yeah. BFG in battle mode. There's no way you can be running around with this thing at all times. So yeah, no, you cannot. But it's good to clean everybody off the board, replenish a ton of resources. But then the demons for a power upgrade can spawn a Baron of Hell, which is like a nightmare. Yeah. So, so it's another kind of 50-50 situation yes. as far as like, so I'm thinking that because you guys have already been playing well, you're not going to maybe do things to pick like more, yes. you know, more health or whatever else. You're going to pick a giant badass to come in. So it's almost like a 3v1 for a second. Yes. Right? All right, let's see what happens and here. the BFG is effective against uh, playable demons if you hit them directly. Less, less, much less effective. So the demons that are for this one. that are playing right now, they're the two animators, some of our best demon players, Chris Cantera and Peter Ashamal. Shout out. Against Felix. We love watching them play. Their matches are epic. Felix has really been struggling, though, so that's... Oh, sorry. I'm just... <laughs> I just love... Oh, I poor love, Felix. I love buzzing his chops. He's so good, and the, honestly, the feedback that our team... Peter's head is blown off at this point. Yes. He's, like, he's sitting at his desk, like, fuming. Uh, steaming. The, the feedback <laughs> that our team has given us as we've refined the meta and put these final coats of wax on the experience in these last few months has been tremendous. You can uh, see the damage there of the of the axe when it blows up. You can, you yeah. can stick it in, in, the, so, in the ground and wait for the Slayer to come by. For a final match, the Slayer's already down pretty far. Yeah. So in the opening moments of this chess match, he definitely lost a couple pawns. Yeah. It looks like he's almost already on the back foot and honestly. He's definitely on the back foot. He's going to need to start and, chainsawing. And trapped in this case. Exactly. Yeah, and they're, yeah, they're, they're using flame wall. And, and they're blocking his and loot. blocked his loot. And when you have him on both sides like that and they run towards the Marauder, that's a bad idea for yes. the player. Because yes. he's got that double barrel to take that close range fight any day. He's even covering these resources right now. He's like, he you're not going to come here. So we saw the Slayer wipe the floor uh, with the... Well, I wouldn't say wipe the floor, but he beat him in the last match uh, pretty handedly. Yeah. Actually, it was still competitive, but he beat him... Uh, what was it? 3-2-1? 3-1. But yeah. uh, it's a pretty sudden, competitive yeah. match right now. I, I would say almost a tactical error there by the Demons. Yeah. yeah. They didn't, they they didn't totally pursue the Slayer. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at, look, they look really had they him on the rope. Yeah, they and did. they're so healthy. They're so, and they're letting him replenish his health and get yeah, back into the fight. It's, it's, they threw down a healing volume. You know, Peter and Peter and Chris really dropping the ball here in front of everyone. <laughs> but it looks like for a minute they They're also lost. Be allowed him in the back map. in the office. I, I don't know. Think. They're gonna be like you. Those right now, two, battle mode. Those two beat my ass in this game <laughs> yesterday. So <laughs> fuck those. You gotta roast them. <laughs> exactly. Roast them up. Breaking some weak points back there, but again, they're they're playing off them pretty pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's true. The thing is, if you're overly aggressive and if you're aggressive at the wrong times, you will die. Right. You have to know when to be aggressive. You have to make that power run. You have to make sure your health and your resources are up there enough so you can, you know, be effective when you make a run at each other. Oh, that hurt. That did. Yeah. That definitely hurt. Yeah, but look. At oh, the look, he's trapped. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, this dude, but he so escapes hard. with the with the teleporter. That was pretty uh, slick. They had him trapped was, for a second. That was a good bailout for that. It would have been a good place for a lake of fire from the. It would have. That's so true. If see you the, pop that before this, yeah, yeah, before right, the shield, right, right, right around that uh, that teleporter. Lake Demon. of fire is a teleporter entrance in Zex. That's is yeah. fantastic. Demons 100%. are healing. And. Uh, yeah, they're like full health basically right now. Yeah. Slayer is in trouble. Oh. Slayer's yeah. He's not in trouble. Nice, dead. nice yeah. match. Well, dead. what happens is the Slayer, you know, he got down early, and uh, he wasn't able to be as aggressive as he wanted to be. Yeah. So good match. Good Those match. matches Speechless. go back and forth. Some of them are crazy in the yeah. office. They'll, they'll, yeah. it, it's, it's amazing. We chose not to put a cap on the number of times demons can spawn back in because it's kind of like or a time a, limit. Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of like putting a time limit on drama. You know, yeah. it's, it's sort of like a tennis match between two great tennis players. Uh, why would you put a, a limit on on how long the the volleys and the and the and the sets can go for? It's true. So uh, we see some matches uh, that are over in a minute in this course of a of a best of five. Some of them are over in like forty seconds. Yeah. And other ones that'll go on for like five minutes, like you just saw there. One of the so. best things, uh, one of our favorite things, is that you know you're watching advanced players here, advanced tactics. You're gonna jump in, you know. You're, you're gonna. You're probably gonna have some learning curve, but, oh, yeah. but that's the best part, right? I mean, it's it's a game that you get to you get to dive into, you get to invest in, and it rewards you with just a, an unbelievable play and, experience, and, and and it's something we're gonna support for months and months. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Long time. Months and years. 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 
Munch I mean, can come yours eventually. The, Shit, the, uh, right. And again, it's for everybody. This is not, you're watching two people who have really mastered the meta, so you're seeing a lot of high end strategies. Two people, taking place. not Felix? Three people. <laughs> Felix is just getting. Felix. Three, three people mastering it, you know? And, uh, and clearly, they all have more mastery that they yeah. have to do because they're, they're struggling. <laughs> but that is what's so exciting, I think. I think from the community standpoint, from everybody I've been talking to that was like hugely into 2016, is like, this is a whole new beast. This is a brand new yeah. aid multiplayer mode. So, of course, there's going to be, you know, the so skill. You guys got to check this out, though, what's coming up. What do we got? What are we going to show them? We're going to show sneak you. Sneak peek. A sneak peek at some of our awesome cosmetics. You guys want to see some nutty cosmetics? You guys ready? Yeah, it's awesome. I said, are you?